Thank you so much. And can I ask a quick clarification then, yeah, sure. just based on um, what he had mentioned then, just to confirm, does Shastra then, in one sense, uh, which was representing uh, Krishna's creation and what he ultimately intends, that there's really only two hierarchies or structures that he intended, which is the Varnasha system, which is Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaisha, Sudra, for example, the social orders, but also um, another social order of Brahmachari, Grahasta, Vanaprasi, and Sanyas. Are those the only two, in one sense, hierarchies or distinguished uh, categories that Krishna meant to intend for our uh, society, our race, species? Thank you. Uh, yeah. In fact, Krishna there does, in that particular verse when he says Maya Swishtam, he doesn't even mention about the ashramas. He actually mentions only the varanas. Chatur varanam Maya Swishtam Guna Karma Vibhagacha. That particular verses when he talks about I have created it, there are four varanas. Now, in the sense that see, the four ashramas are four stages of life and they have to be to some extent voluntarily chosen. Okay. Just because somebody is say unmarried doesn't make them a brahmachari or somebody just because they are retired doesn't make them a vanaprastha or a sannyasi. So, they, so these are more to be cultivated, cultivated by conscientious practice and they may or may not be cultivated by different people at different stages in their lives. So, the, so this is a hierarchy which is conducive for spiritual growth, the brahmachari, brahmachari. But it is not that automatically say when people go beyond a particular age, automatically they will develop the disposition of a particular ashram. It may not work like that. So the natural hierarchy is only the varanas. The, the hierarchy of ashramas could be called natural in the sense that a progressive human being would naturally evolve through these states. But it's not that they will, it will happen automatically. It will require conscientious effort.